All right, so now that we know a little bit more about unit conversions and have learned all of the helpful equations that we need to know, we can do my absolute favorite thing and apply it to the real world setting. So through this video, we're essentially just gonna go through one really long example and work through different things, such as cost calculations and um, some more mass percent comp, as well as our dilution equation. So we're gonna apply this and then you'll be able to use this in your lab, whether it be through a quiz, a um, real life lab experiment, or on the practical. So it's gonna be important to really tune in through this example. So what I'm gonna have you do throughout this video is pause as we get to each question so that you can work on it yourself. And then when you're done, um, check the answers. So it'll be a good opportunity for you just to check your learning and understanding. Um, and if need be, I can also post some additional practice problems and solutions on Moodle as well. So if you just reach out, let me know. Love to help out any way I can. So if we turn to our last page in the packet, we will see that it says part three application. All right, so we have to consider the lab notebook entry. So December 17, 2016, we purchased chemicals needed to make a unknown buffer solution for a total of $763, including tax. Then on Christmas Eve, or on December 24th, 2016, we used all of the chemicals that were ordered on December 17th to make 20 liters of a 30X unknown buffer stock solution. And then on April 11, 2017, we used four liters of the 30X unknown buffer solution that was prepared on December 24th to create a new solution that yielded 11 liters. And lastly, on June 10, 2017, we diluted the original unknown buffer solution that was prepared on December 24th with the distilled water to prepare um, three liters of a 14X solution to be used in an experiment. So that just came directly from your handout. So let's write down some of those key dates and information up here. So you don't really have to know anything from the 17th, so I'm just gonna leave that off. Um, 24th, I need to make sure my 12th not, or two's match. Okay, so we made 30X, which is very concentrated by the way, probably not the most realistic, but we're just using it for an example. 30X unknown. Solution made for a total of 20 liters. Then on April 11th, we used four liters to make 11 liters. And then lastly, on June 10th, we used distilled water to make. Um, we used an unknown number of liters to prepare a 14X solution. For three liters total. All right. So those are the three key dates that we want to know. And all of this costed $763 even. Perfect. So question A asks us to determine the concentration and molarity of the solution prepared on April 11, 2017. So going back to our handy dandy equation, we know that M1 V1 equals M2 V2 and that M1 is going to equal 30 because it's a 30x and then we're going to go to 4 liters which is going to equal M2, because we don't know the molarity of our end solution yet, that's what we have to figure out, times 11 liters. Again, I would encourage you to pause to work through this problem um, so that you get, you get an understanding of where you're at. So, um, but pause it or keep listening, whichever floats your boat. So we calculate this out to get 120, which equals M2, 11 liters. So, 11m, wait, we're just going to divide both sides by 11, just for simplicity, and then that will yield us with 10.9, so this is essentially saying that the concentration at the end is 10.9, so by using, um, by using 4 liters to make 11 liters, our concentration then drops to 10.9. So number two asks us to apply this to cost calculations. So this is something we're probably not gonna be doing a lot in our lab, but it's something that's important to know if you work in a lab in the future. So um, letter B 
So we know that we used four liters, right, to make um, our solution of 11 liters. So we're not gonna need to know the 11 liters for this problem, that's irrelevant. We only used four liters of the stack and we had 20 total. So if we take four liters of the 10X divided by the 20 liters that were available, we get a decimal of 0.2. And then we can multiply that by our total cost of $763 to find out that we utilize $152.60 on 4-11. So this is, again, just a helpful calculation to have in your back pocket just in case you have to calculate anything in the lab in the future. So, so that, those are our answers to the first two problems concerning April 11th, and now we're moving on to June 10th, which so happens to be my birthday. Sorry. All right. <laughs> C. I honestly don't know how I came up with these dates. All right. Determine how much of the 30X solution was used on June 10th, 2017 to create a new 14X solution. So, M1. V1 equals M2 V2. Again, that's going to be our helpful equation. Again, please pause it to work through this problem on your own. I'm going to keep clipping along here, but I'd recommend you pause it just to make sure you're honing in on those key ideas and can do it on your own because in the practical or in the lab, um, I'm not going to be able to answer this for you, nor will the other TAs. So just kind of pause it if you can. All right. Starting off with 30, because we know that is given to us in the problem, our solution is going to start off at a 30 concentration. 30M. We don't know the volume yet, so we're going to leave that as V1, which is equal to 14M, because that's going to be our N concentration, times 3 liters, because that's going to be our N volume. So again, if we do some basic algebra, that's going to give us 30M V1 equals 14 times 3, which is 42. Divide both sides by 30. And our V1, V1 is going to equal... 1.4 liters. Okay, that's all we need to know for that one. And then number four, again, we're just applying this all to a calculation of cost. So um, we created three liters. Oh, excuse me, I'm, I'm jumping ahead of myself. So number four, we're actually going to be utilizing um, the information that we just calculated to determine how much distilled water we are going to need. So we just created three liters total that's given to us, right? So we created three liters and we know that 1.4 liters of that is our solution. So simple math tells us that 1.6 liters is going to be our distilled H2O. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, E or number five. Um, what was the cost of the buffer created on June 10, 2017? And assume water is free, of course. So what we're gonna do here again is know that we used 1.4 liters divided by 20 liters available times 100 to show us that we used 7% of the solution. Or you can do what we did over here and just get point, um, not do the times 100 and get 0 0.07 and go from there. So 0 0.07 times $763 will tell us that we utilized $53.41 worth of solution on June 10th. Perfect. F cruising right along here. How much of the buffer stock solution remains? So I'm going to kind of clear off my workspace here just because I'm running out of room. Hopefully you guys captured all those ideas down. So we know that we used we used four liters on 411, and on 610, we used 1.4 liters. This will give us a total of 5.4 liters used to date. And we know that we have a total of 20 liters to work with. So we can take 20 liters minus 5.4, 
to get a total of 14.6 liters remaining. So that means at my disposal, I'll have 14.6 liters of the solution to use whenever and wherever I feel like, which is really useful um, to have this left over in the lab as long as it's being stored properly and is labeled. So we have 14.6 liters remaining. Now, number seven wants us just to tell us how much the remaining stock is worth. So if we're taking inventory of our lab and how much our equipment and our chemicals are worth, we could do this um, by using the simple calculation. So lastly, oh, I forgot to label this one. Letter G, or number seven, whichever letters or numbers floats your boat, um, we know that we have 14.6 liters left because we just computed that. And we know that we started with 20 liters in the beginning. So again, this is going to show us that we have 0.73, or if you multiply it by 100, 73% of our solution remaining. So, um, this, we can then multiply this, 0.73, by $763, and this will tell us that we have $556.99 remaining in our lab. And then we can utilize that $556.99 worth of solution, um, as long as it's kept in a nice stored environment, um, we can utilize it and um, dilute future solutions in the future. So that concludes the video series. I'm very glad you guys stuck with me through this and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. <laughs> I'm gonna end it off by finishing up this Kool-Aid.